Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another video where today we're gonna to be talking about the Ninja hot and cold brood system. So listen, a few years ago, Ninja, which you might already know from their super successful blenders, entered the coffee market with a home brewer that promised to give you everything that a coffee shop can give you in one package. They did a pretty good job from the start and to this day, they're still expanding. Now, one of the latest machines in their lineup is called the Ninja Hot and Cold Brood System. And it might leave you wondering, you know, what else can I really ask for in a coffee maker? So let's talk about it. So this system is all about options. First of all, it gives you a ton of brewing styles from, you know, regular drip coffee, and you can even make cold brew in this. On top of the multiple brewing styles, you can also do everything from, you know, a variety of sizes to single serve to an entire carafe. On top of all that, it also brews tea. Now I'm not much of a tea drinker, but I do have a girlfriend that loves her tea. So it's great that this machine can do everything in one. So I decided to make a list of pros and cons, and that'll kind of give you an idea of where this review is gonna go. Now, pros, it's got a ton of options. It's got a scoop that comes with the machine, so you always know how much coffee to measure. It's super easy to clean. It's a great value compared to having to buy Keurig coffee cups all the time. And in that same regard, it has a single serve option with no K cups required. Then if we go over to the cons, there's really not much. Some of the brewing methods, specifically the cold brew, can be a little bit noisy, which honestly is not a huge deal. And the other issue is it's pretty tall for a coffee machine, so you gotta make sure it's gonna fit under your cabinet or anywhere on your shelf that you're planning on storing it. So let's break all of that down. The Ninja Coffee System arrives in a single cardboard shipping box, and it's just big enough to fit the manufacturer's box inside. Now, some people are saying, well, why are we putting a box in a box? But the last thing you want after buying a nice coffee machine is for your package to get destroyed in the mail. On top of that, nobody really knows what's in the box, so it's less likely to get scooped off of your porch. So the box itself has a lot of, you know, full color photos, descriptions. It kind of gives you the basic idea of what you're going to find inside of the box. There isn't a lot of information, but, you know, it gets you enough to get excited about the package. Once you open it up, you'll find everything you need for the Ninja. It's got the brewer, the carafe, the permanent filters, the filter holders, a whisk, a water reservoir, a smart scoop, a quick start, a manual, and a recipe book. Now taking the machine out of the box, you'll notice there's a couple pieces of tape just to hold down certain parts of the machine, make sure they don't shift during shipping. Other than that, there's not a ton of packaging. And this thing is super easy to set up. It is recommended that you give everything a quick wash and run a couple cycles with just water through to clear out the system. So now let's get into the brewing. You're not going to find a ton of surprises with, you know, the standard drip coffee setting, but honestly, <laughs> that's a pretty basic way of making coffee. The controls are really easy to use. There's two knobs on the front, and that way you can select which brewing style you want, as well as what size you'd like. And unlike many coffee machines, the Ninja display is nice and bright, so you're never going to have an issue seeing what you're making. Now, most other machines give you a filter holder that, you know, slides into the side or some sort of lid you have to lift, but this filter basket rotates out from the center top of the brewer. It's a small difference, but it is a huge, huge convenience. Now, when you're just brewing regular drip coffee, you're gonna wanna use the orange filter basket, which fits nicely in its spot. The machine automatically knows which basket you put it in, and it'll set it up for what you're brewing. You never have to tell it to switch between coffee and tea. The Ninja uses a reusable permanent filter, which can help you reduce waste if you're used to using paper filters. Many other companies give you filters that are pretty tough to clean, but this thing is a breeze. It empties with a quick tap into the garbage and a brief rinse in the sink. The cone shape also helps when you're just trying to brew smaller sizes versus having a wide basket on a regular coffee maker. Now, when you're getting ready to make your coffee, you can use the Ninja Scoop, which has handy measurements on it, and it gives you an idea of exactly how much coffee you'll need for different brewing sizes. It is nice that it has two ends, a large and a small scoop. If you want a more consistent brew, you're gonna wanna weigh your coffee, but the scoop will give you everything you need otherwise. Now, after brewing the drip coffee, the first thing I'm gonna notice is it's very hot, about 185 degrees in the carafe and it had a perfect flavor to it. The smaller the brew size, you're gonna find that it won't be quite as hot, but it's never been an issue. When the coffee is brewing, there's five horizontal bars that light up in succession to show you how far along you are in making your coffee. That's super handy because you can see it from a distance. And when the brew is complete, a series of beeps informs you that it is time to drink. Now, if you find regular drip could use a little bit more of a, you know, oomph, you can try the rich brewing mode. It makes a more robust coffee that holds up better when mixed with, you know, cream, milk, sweetener, sugar, anything you like. So overall for drip brew, it's great. It's not gonna blow you away, but it's gonna give you everything you need in a drip coffee maker. Now let's talk about cold brew. I'm super excited about this because I love cold brew. You go to a local coffee shop and you can spend up to like $8 a cup for this sweet, sweet nectar. But with the Ninja Brewing System, 
You have it right there, hot and cold brewed system. Of course, there are other cold brew systems on the market, but this machine does it all in one. On top of that, it's worth noting that the Ninja cold brew isn't your traditional method. Most methods take about 12 to 24 hours to steep, but that's not the case with the Ninja. Instead of needing to let the coffee sit at room temperature or even in the fridge from 12 hours to 24 hours, the Ninja uses slightly warm water and it brews something that's very close to a cold brew in just 15 minutes. It takes way less time and it's just as smooth. Now, if you're not a big fan of cold brew, but you do like iced coffee, you have an option to brew hot over ice. When you select this option using the dial, it gives you the standard temperature that you'd get for regular hot coffee or tea. That way the heat from the coffee melts the ice and makes a perfectly diluted iced coffee. On top of all of those great brew modes, you can also make specialty drinks, which will brew a small amount of very strong coffee for you to use in any sort of latte or cappuccino. To make those, you can use the attachable frother, which will froth up any hot milk, cream, almond milk, anything you can imagine. And if tea's your thing, don't forget, you've got a removable basket that's meant just for tea. You throw that in the machine and it'll brew the perfect tea. This machine gives you a ton of options. So if you have a guest coming over that wants tea, cold brew, iced coffee, a specialty drink, you've got it in the one machine that maybe you just use for coffee, but conveniently does it all. The Ninja, all in all, is a great buy. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If so, please feel free to leave a thumbs up because I always appreciate it. And just a reminder, I'll include a link to the coffee maker down below so you can check updated pricing and availability for anyone that might be interested. Also, let me know any comments or questions you have because I love getting to answer as many as I can. But otherwise, thanks so much for watching guys. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next video.